Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number a trick number 24. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 22 to 26. Hey, trick 24, we're going to talk about time. We just talked about time in the last little uh, number 23, but now we're going to see how to uh, calculate total hours, total minutes, and total days all using formulas and then we'll see how easy it is to add them. Notice also that there's different formats here. Here I have a format with hour, minute, seconds. Here I have a format with just hour, minute, and PM. Here I have military time. Formulas never look at formatting. So if I was to highlight this whole thing and convert back to general format, control one, click on general, I'm going to click escape, the keyboard shortcut for general format is control shift tilde. Tilde is to the left of the number one. Oh, look at that. Underneath that is what an Excel formula will look at. All that stuff. That's the proportion of one 24 hour day. That is what sits in a cell when you type a time in. I'm going to control Z. That is just formatting. So it doesn't matter whether you have military or AM or this or this or whatever time format you have. Those decimals underneath are what Excel is dealing with when you do math formulas. Now, hours work, I'm going to highlight the whole column, equals open parentheses. It's always the later time minus the earlier time, close parentheses, times 24. That formula we just did in the last little trick. That'll calculate hours. Control, enter. Now, let's calculate minutes equals open parentheses the later time minus the earlier time if you do the reverse you'll get a minus and if it's you can get into trouble so always stick always calculate later time minus earlier time and then times 24 times 60 to get minutes control enter days worked is very simple it's just Hey, look, here's the Zoom box in Excel 2007. I'm going to type 100 and uh, enter. Hey, I'm going to highlight all this equals days. This is the easiest one ever. It's just the later time minus the earlier time. Notice, ooh, I have a time there. That's a spelling error. Hey, look, I got format, so I'm going to control shift tilde. And there it is. Now we can add up very easily by highlighting all of these. The keyboard shortcut for auto sum is alt equals. And just to make sure, I'm going to hit the F2 key to verify, and sure enough, it got the right one. So there it is. That's how many hours we worked during this period. There's how many minutes we worked, and there's how many days. All right, that's uh, some fun with time math. All right, we'll see you next. YouTubers love Excel.